McCourtney, three goals, three points and the first clean sheet of the season. What did you make of it? Yeah, pleasing. Um, difficult game to the... Well, I'd say difficult, different game to the one we faced in the first four. We, we knew that the, the, the way the fixtures came out, that the first four games were going to be tough and it was a bit of a different way of playing. Um, I'm really pleased the way we've come through them games, especially you know with, with 10 men the last couple of games and, and seeing them games out, we've had a little bit of a different side to us, but we knew with the running fixtures we've got here, we've got four games at home. Um, get a little bit of a different team on the pitch, a few more of your footballers back in and um, and get sort of back to the way we do things here, a little bit more fluid and, and keeping the ball better, but still having that element of working hard. And we just said that to him and there, you know, we can't be just a footballing team or, you know, away from home, just a hard working team. And, you know, we went a little bit longer against the Griff and frustrated them and things like that. But at home here, we want to be able to play, we want to get the ball down. Um, but that's got to come with hard work as well and earning everything. Um, you know, I think the only game this year that we haven't really earned the right to play was the, was the Heather one. Um, you know, and you saw what happened. So it's all about whatever the opposition. You know, they've not had a fantastic start, sure, we, but you know they're a, they're a good side. You know, we had to earn everything there and had to um, you know dig in for everything and, and, and make sure that we, we scrapped and we battled firstly. Um, and then once the game sort of we got the game stretched, we got the ball down and played. So yeah, really pleasing. It's just nice to just nice to win. You know, at, at this time of the season when the, the, the schedule is as busy as it is and hard as it is, it's just about winning. Performances are secondary at the moment. So you know, four wins out of five will take it. It's the best start for a long time. Um, you know, we've got to keep doing it. We've got to keep doing it and making sure we do the same on Monday, which will be another tough game against a good, honest, uh, hard-working young team. So, um, yeah, pleased today. Um, but yeah, it's just another one, another one ticked off, and uh, you know, closer to where we want to be. You mentioned those sort of four consecutive home games. Are you expecting more games like this? Yeah, sort of relatively well-organised sides will be difficult to break down, and, and in a sense, an exercise in patience. Yeah, we've got to be patient. That's that's the, that's always the you know the key from from the sidelines is you know be patient with things. You know, you've. You're coming up against teams that you know are going to want to hit you on the counter attack. You know they've played quite direct once they've turned the ball over, and you've always got to be careful with that one. You know it takes you saw against here the one sort of long ball and, and it outdoes you, and um, you know you have to be patient. It's tough at times because you want to force things and you've got good footballers and, and you want to try and force things into areas and you're getting frustrated. But you know we just need to keep the ball in them periods. You know the second half I thought we were um, we were good, kept the ball for long periods of time and, and, and frustrated them and moved them around, and then sort of the game got stretched as it went on, and you could sort of bring a little bit of pace on and, and stretch the game towards the end. So. Yeah, professional performance bombers really. It's um, things we've got to do. You know, no one's ever going to come here and um, and give you anything. We've got to win absolutely everything, and, and we've done that all season. You know, we've done it pre-season. We've worked hard, and, and that's been one of the things that we've really worked on is trying to outwork anybody. And instead of saying, you know, can we work harder than them? We've got to force teams to come here and, and you know, work harder than us, and we've got to set the standard for that hard work. So, um, you know, and, and, and then in that, you, you get yourself a little bit of luck from working hard. So. Yeah, pleased, um, very pleased, and um, yeah, see what we uh, see what we can do on Monday. Chandler Pegg was, was probably the one concern from today. Went down injured early on. How is he? What was the, the issue? Yeah, I think it was just you know I think we were worried it was his ankle again. Um, <coughs> you know I think it's his knee. Whether he's twisted it in the turf, we're not too sure. It's swelled up a little bit, so we'll, we'll leave him with the physios and see how he gets on. Um, it's been tough for Chan. You know he's been he's been fantastic when he's been playing pre-season. He's just picked up a couple of little knocks and niggles, and you know we probably forced him back a little bit too early. I'm, I'm not too sure. He said he was fit. You know it's difficult because you want to with with Monday in mind. You know from last week we we sort of went with the same sort of team Saturday, Monday, and he caught up with us. So we, we wanted to change the team today for and change the team again on Monday just to give us that little bit of fluidity and uh, make sure we've got a fit a fit group on the pitch because we've had to work really hard the last couple of games. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's tough for Chan. You know, he, he, you know what Chan gives us. He's, he's an out-and-out goal scorer, and, and, and you know, he, he, you always, you know, miss somebody like that. Um, but again, it's more game time for Mitch, which he needs. You know, he's he's, he's a little bit behind in terms of his fitness at the minute because he's had a holiday, and um, you know, it'll do no, do no harm for him. But um, yeah, disappointed for Chan. He looked a bit dejected. But listen, it's a long season. We've got lots of games, and you know, he's just got to take his time. And you know, we possibly, possibly not got to rush him back and just see how he is. One sort of. The thing that we haven't quite achieved yet so far this season was a clean sheet. Got it today. And please for, for Brandon and, and the work that he was called upon was not, you know, wasn't called into action too too much, but did his job when needed. Yeah, he's been brilliant, Brand. Um, you know, we have to say to <clears throat> to react the way he did from last year. You know, being dropped for the playoffs and, and the way he's reacted with that at a young age is there's a lot of footballers who won't be able to do that. So full credit to Brandon in that sense that he's. You know, got his head down, and, and um, you know he's worked hard, and it's been fantastic all pre-season. You know, he's doing a little bit of extra outside of um, outside of games now with his goalkeeping as well, and, and that's showing a little bit of dividends. And um, you know, I think he's done everything right today. He's kicked it really well. He's coming, he's coming, took some good crosses under pressure. He's talked and organised, and you know, it's it's one of those positions with goalkeepers. You know, everyone. It's difficult. Everyone lords goalkeepers now that you know look flashy and look fantastic, but don't want to keep the ball at the net. You know, Brandon's got that desire to keep the ball at the net. He's hard to beat. You know, I know we've, we've 
conceded a couple of goals already this year and, and, and that, but you know he's been he's been superb and you know he's deserved that today. But everyone does. We've said that today. It's not just it's not just the back four or the back five. Wherever we set up, the keeps clean sheets. It's the whole defensive unit. We have to be be on the ball and stop teams being able to play through us and be harder to beat and better in a shape. And they all know that. They all know they've got to work harder off the ball. And I think you're starting to see that a little bit. You know, we're making people work harder for the goals. Um, especially like, you know the last two games we were down to ten men. You know we're, we're making things work really really hard. And, and to, to see two games out there with ten men, um, you know you get your just rewards today when you've got your eleven and you can move the ball around. And, and but again it's working hard off the ball, which is the most pleasing at the moment. And just finally another quick turnaround back here on, on Monday for again it's Coach and Green. Yeah, it's tough. The schedule's tough. It's, again, it's the same for everybody. You know the Mondays, you know, is tough. And like, like you know, like I said, the either one you know, we sort of relied on the same squad Saturday, Monday. It's a little bit unrealistic. So you know we need to make sure. We've got a big squad for a reason. That is the turnaround with the Mondays. It is hard. It is tough. You know, we're never going to stop lads from going out and enjoying the weekends. We tell them not to go out on Fridays before the game. But you know, they've worked hard all week and they want a beer or whatever on a Sunday. You know, and enjoy the Sundays. You're never going to stop them doing that. But we said, you know, if you are doing that, you've got to make sure that you come here and do more on a Monday. Um, but yeah, a tough turnaround again against a, a, a team that not had the best of starts in Coat and Green. But you know, they've got a good, a good manager in. Um, Jason Pyatt is, 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 is a great bloke, you know, get on with him really well and, um, you know, they'll, they'll get better, they'll pick up, it's a brand new team, it's hard, it's, that's one of the things that we've wanted here is to have that bit of consistency with the squad and, and, and when you're changing um, t squads and teams all the time, you know, seeing how it's caught up with us, so, you know, listen, they'll get better, it'll be a tough game, we've got to work hard, you know, they're a good young group of players, um, you know, so we've got to win everything again on Monday and, and outwork them and outbattle them and uh, hopefully the sort of quality will show through, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, schedule's tough, but yeah, everyone enjoys playing more than training, so um, you know, we'll never, we'll never done that. So yeah, looking forward to it.